He looks to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start in the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Back to throw, Weaver. And this would take it in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. At this point in the game, and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Weber. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Drew Sanders. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle, here's Walker. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll try for the first with Walker. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get five and it will go ahead and move the chains. So it's a pretty simple partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Walker with another carry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Meanwhile, Young's throw here into the hands of Moore. 
And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Short completion, just four yards, third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Young on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, but 9.9 .9 times out of 10, just missed that one. Set in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run on first down. Allison. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. They'll keep it on the ground. Allison. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. From the gun on third down, Weber. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done it to scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Operating from the gun. Weber flushed out right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hand, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if we can find a big play downfield. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. At the 22-yard line. Ready, ready. 
Ready? All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And that makes it 23 to 7. Makes the score Bills 23, Seahawks 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Young. Throw out wide to Walker. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Third down, Young from the gun. They'll roll him out right. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there and now fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at the 23. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Completes it to Hardman. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Weaver. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well 
to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. This offense so far on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and five. Back to throw again. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And the Bills are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback okay, that's ready? struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also... You might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Javon Holland. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter, and find their way over. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Weber. And my goodness, another interception. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 47 yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Go 
Trenton the Bills Bill send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw. Weber. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Weber. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Dancing to his left. That's complete to the Porta. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. His pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. In motion right, that's Hardman. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And, partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play. You should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage. But an even better job studying the play before you have to try. And, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks get a bit closer. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. So the touchdown was big. This almost equally big as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. They'll look to throw. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. 
So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 98 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he loses the football a second time. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. On third down, here's Walker. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Hardman on the return. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing to start the drive. Weber. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded. And all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes second down. Back to throw. Weber. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. 
So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. Now, I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly force turnover after turnover after turnover every time you...